Hello, I'm Jim King with MPI Distributing, and I'm going to walk you through on how to do a manual regeneration of the DPF filter on a Toro Groundsmaster. All the Tier 4 Groundsmasters run the Yanmar engine, and they'll all have the same process with the onboard info center. Let's walk through it. So the first thing we need to do is make sure the machine is parked on a hard, flat surface, the parking brake is set, and the hood's opened. This way, when it runs for an extended period of time at a higher temperature, it won't damage any of the turf below or the hood itself. So let's get started. I've already got my parking brake set. Now we're going to move in close to the info center and start with our process there. Okay, now we have our machine ready for the next step. Power's on and we're in the info center. First thing we need to do is go into the settings and enter the pin number. Press any of the buttons to bring up the menu. Press the left button to get into the menu. Then we're gonna go down to settings, enter. Then we're gonna go down to protected menus, enter over to the right. And for this unit, our factory pin is still set at one, two, three, four. If you don't know your factory pin, try this one first. Otherwise use zero, 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 zero. If neither of those work and you haven't put a factory pin in or you haven't put your own pin in, call us and we can go ahead and enter your model serial number and number of hours in and give you a temporary pin to go in and override it and reset the pin number. We're gonna go ahead and hit the check mark. We know it's worked because in the upper right corner it says pin right there. So now we can go back out into service, down to DPF generation, enter, and it tells us it must be running. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the machine and run it. Uh, you'll hear the noise, but uh, you'll be able to follow along. We're going to tell it we are sure that we want to do a DPF regeneration. We have to be above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We hit OK. We're going to put the throttle in low idle. Hit OK. So we're initializing the DPF regen. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Now let's find out how long this is gonna take. So in this case, we see a DPF regen not allowed. That is because when we started the regen process, we were not above the standard operating temperature where we needed to be. The machine needs to be at an operating temperature for a little bit, so you're gonna need to warm it up, make sure the engine has a base level, and we can go from there. When the regeneration process starts, the engine will automatically idle up and will stay at a higher RPM until the process is done. Once the process is done, it will automatically idle down and it is safe to shut down the machine. This entire process took 28 minutes. At that point, the engine idled down and I was able to shut it off and park the machine.